Hello, this is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing at Stock Rover, and in this video, I'll show you how to create Stock Rover screeners. Screeners will find a set of candidate investment ideas from a larger investment universe of stocks or ETFs. Screeners screen according to the investment criteria you care about. If you're new to screening, you may want to first take advantage of the many screeners that come with Stock Rover. Stock Rover starts you off with 14 screeners in the navigation pane. To learn more about these 14 screeners, you want to check out our Stock Rover Screener Tour video. In addition, there are well over 100 screeners available to you in the Stock Rover library, which can be easily added to your account via a simple import operation. Stock Rover screeners can be implemented as is, or you can update them to make them better fit your investment criteria. You can also use them as the basis for new screeners. If you make changes to a Stock Rover screener and later want to revert back, simply re-import the screener from the library. Before delving into the how-to, let's talk a little bit about how the screening capabilities of Stock Rover will vary depending on your subscription plan. The Stock Rover subscription plan determines the number of metrics available for screening. Premium and Premium Plus support ETF screening. With Premium, there are over 90 ETF metrics to screen on. With Premium Plus, over 180. Ranked screening is unique to Stock Rover and allows you to assign a level of importance to the metrics to weight them, if you will, and then, from the weighted criteria, compute the overall rank. If 50 stocks pass a screener, you would see them ranked 1 to 50. Ranking helps you narrow down a vast field of tickers and tells you which ones to focus on. For example, you could tell Stock Rover to return a top 10 list. Premium Plus allows you to screen on historical data. Premium Plus also offers a powerful equation screener. Note, we make it very easy and transparent for you to try each of the Stock Rover subscription levels during the trial. To do this, simply go to Change Trial and select the plan you want to sample. You'll see me use this feature during the course of this video. What we're going to do now is build three separate screeners based on a GARP strategy, or growth at a reasonable price. For more detail on investing with a GARP investment strategy, please see this page. We'll start with an essential screener. We'll then graduate to a premium screener. And then we'll finish with a premium plus screener. So the first thing I want to do is let's switch our trial from a Premium Plus to an Essentials. I'll go to Change Trial and select Essentials. Note in the upper right hand corner we can see we're now set to an Essentials trial. Now to create a screener we can just go to Screeners, right click, and Create Screener. Notice we can select the type of equity and the universe that we'll be selecting from. I'll select all exchanges. Let's start with the Add Criteria button. The first thing I like to do, especially when working with Stock Rover's out-of-the-box metrics, is to build a list of the metrics I want to incorporate into the screener, and then I'll go back later and assign thresholds. In this screener, I want to screen on the following metrics. Again, all these metrics are part of the Stock Rover Essentials plan. So we want to incorporate peg forward and peg trailing. We want the sales one year and sales five year annualized growth. So I can search for sales one year, five year. Notice in the right pane, you get a description. I'd like to grab some earnings per share metrics and screen them as well. I can sort the columns. Scroll down, I want 
EPS one year change, EPS five year average, and I want EPS for next year as well. We're also interested in operating income. So we're interested in the five year average. Lastly, we're going to grab the earnings yield. Now that we've selected all these metrics, let's assign some thresholds. So I'll set peg forward and peg trailing to be under 1.5. Note at the bottom, there's a pane where we have a column for each metric that we're evaluating. We also see how many stocks are passing our current screening criteria. So we're at 258 out of 15,928. This pane is showing us a 20 stock preview. Now to see all the stocks and to perform proper analytics, the proper workflow is to go to the table layout, which I'll show you once we've completed the screener. To learn more about the table layout, please see this link here. And there's also some great videos as well. Let's go back and we want to set our one year and five year annualized growth metric for sales. We want that to be above 4%. We want to increase on earnings per share to be greater than 8% this year, 8% over the last five years, and 8% for next year. So let's set those values. We want our operating income growth over the last five years to exceed 8% on average. Lastly, we want the PE to be under 25, and that's expressed as requiring an earnings yield of over 4%. I tend to build a list of all metrics and then set thresholds when working with metrics where I'm setting simple thresholds, but you can just as well pick a metric and then pick a threshold or whatever combination best works for you. Save the screener. We can now go to the table layout for further research and analysis of our screeners tickers. Note you can pick the view that you'd like. You can also create your own views or import views from the Stock Rover library. We can select tickers to chart and notice we also get more detail in the insight panel. Now let's graduate to a premium screener. Actually, before switching to premium from essentials, I'll try to update my screener with a premium metric. So I'm going to go to my essential screener, update the screener, and I'll add criteria, and I'll pick a historical metric, uh, sales quarter over quarter. So sales quarter over quarter, uh, you can see it's the quarter over quarter change in sales between this quarter and the same fiscal quarter one year ago. It's greater than 8%. Well, Stock Rover tells us that this is a feature that requires a premium subscription. So changing the trial level is very helpful in determining which subscription plan is best suited for your requirements. So let's go to premium. Okay, so right now we have our essentials screener picked. And we can see we have 22 rows in our table. So if I just switch to the table view here, that's 22 tickers that met our screening criteria for our GARP screener based on Stock Rover Essentials. I'm going to click on this GARP Premium screener and note how the row count has changed from 22 to 45. I'm going to change my view here. And you'll see that I've incorporated some more metrics. Now, in the interest of time, I've already created the screener using premium metrics. Now, the process is exactly the same as we did before. So this is identical to what we did earlier. 
I simply chose some additional metrics. So we see Morningstar growth grade has been added, and that has to be an A or a B. Sales and earnings per share quarter over quarter change. That's this year versus the same period last year for the most recent quarter. Remember, we tried to add that before and we couldn't. So passing companies need to show more than a 4% quarter over quarter sales gain and a more than 8% quarter over quarter earnings gain. When we go to the table layout, we can see that our tickers are listed alphabetically. Let's go back and revise this screener and add a very powerful premium capability. It's called ranking. Ranking allows you to order the stocks that pass the screener by weighting the criteria used in the screener for importance and from the weighted criteria rankings, computing the overall rank. When I go to edit my sales quarter over quarter change, we see an additional value called weight percent. So I'm going to assign sales quarter over quarter change a 5% weight. We'll do the same thing for earnings per share quarter over quarter, 5%. Now there's quite a few metrics here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit. So I'm going to click on cancel here. And you'll see here that I already have a screener that I've added all the weighting to. Notice how we rank based on specific thresholds, as well as lowest to highest values. Also, there's a limit, which is currently set to 50. We could implement a top 10 or a top 25. If you have a screener that returns a large population, adding rankings helps you target tickers that best meet your criteria. Here's a link that explains ranking in quite a bit more detail. I'm going to change the limit from 50 to 25, and let's see what happens. Notice now we have 25 tickers that met our criteria. I'm going to sort it based on rank, and we can see Quidel is number one, and we can see why it ranked number one based on the ranking criteria. Let's finish up with a GARP Premium Plus screener. The Premium Plus screener builds upon the Premium screener by adding in two additional key Premium Plus features. One, the ability to access historical periods. And two, the ability to write equations. Now, in the interest of time, I'll highlight the essentials, Premium, and Premium Plus metrics. In addition, you'll see something new called equations. Let's see how to create a screen based on an equation. I'll simply pick an existing equation and update it. Let's delete this. And we'll create an equation that says the earnings per share of the most recent period is greater than the earnings per share trailing 12 months one year ago. So I'll search for earnings per share. And you'll note now that there's something that says now. Now, when we go to the pull down, you'll see that this is historical data. So Stock Rover in an equation can reference the earnings per share now, the most recent quarter, the trailing 12 months for year one through year five. We'll go back 10 calendar years and nine quarters. So earnings per share now greater than, and I'll just look for earnings per share again, and I'll pick trailing 12 months one year ago, and update. And what we can see here is in this screener, we're looking at the earnings per share now. Are they greater than the earnings per share trailing 12 months one year ago? Are the trailing 12 months one year ago earnings per share greater than the trailing 12 months earnings per share two years ago. Here's a link that you'll find quite helpful. You'll see on this page a PDF and Word doc that provide additional guidance and tips for creating custom equations. In this screener, we've added some very specific criteria that allows us to be very granular in our targeting. The expected sales growth next year 
must exceed 2%. Earnings per share must be increasing over the last two years. Sales must be increasing over the last two years. Operating income must be increasing over the last two years. The expected earnings per share growth next year must exceed 4%. The industry growth decile must be in the top 40% for the company within its industry. The five-year growth estimate is used in the ranking with a weight of 5%. The stock rover growth and value scores must both be in the top 50% of the companies. The margin of safety must exceed 5%. The price to Lynch fair value metric is used in the rankings with a weighting of 10%. Let's now go to the table view. This view is showing us both past and future performance. Let's sort on ranking. Again, Quidel is ranked number one, and the tooltip is showing how Quidel did against the screener criteria, which helps you understand why it's ranked number one in the screener. Stock Rover's powerful and flexible screener helps you quickly narrow down the population of thousands of stocks to a more selective set of investment opportunities that meets even the most stringent of investment criteria. Stock Rover's advanced screening comes with ranking, historical comparison, and freeform equations which provide for maximum flexibility and range allowing you to locate your best investment opportunities in no time. We hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.